just occurred to me, repeating a old mantra, mantra, statement that uh, Stephen, is it Don or Stephen? Herzog, a buddy of mine from the state, far smarter than I'll ever be from John Hopkins. Don't know what he was doing at San Francisco State, but there he was. Anyway, he was the one who put the idea that conversation is the first manifestation of love. Now there's lots of kinds of conversation as anyone who has <coughs> ever dated or fallen in love with someone who doesn't speak your language is all body talk, eyes, gestures. This is a form of communication. Conversation, yeah, you can converse through hands, of course. American Sign Language, sign language is across the world, proving that over and over again. Conversation is the first manifestation of love. State the first premise. It's my uh, bow to the movie Pi. One of my favorite movies. Premise. Conversation is the first manifestation of love. If you are to develop that conversation. We must have something to talk about. Book of questions comes to mind. It, even if it is kind of artificial. Of course you can always talk about movies, books, and people, gossip. These things are also forms of conversation. I don't think they promote a deeper understanding of someone. Topical, yes. Contextual, maybe. But not very deep. Nowhere near the heart of the individual or of yourself. So where's all this going? Well, back to my book of questions. I've got one somewhere. My page of questions. She emailed China, see if she can send me that list. She said she had a magic list of 100 or so questions you should ask potential mate, boyfriend, girlfriend, before becoming too engaged in the relationship. On a related note, my statement that I'd never learned to speak the language of men. Wonder how much of that is because, as Cynthia pointed out last night, I talk about things that men don't really want to talk about or like to talk about. And maybe for someone older, someone more mature, someone more familiar with the evil ways of people, what they do to each other with words, spoken and unspoken, that a individual who is willing to discuss the meteor matters is probably someone who has given it some thought and therefore maybe align themselves a little more with themselves. Maybe you know, not necessarily with the universe, but at least with themselves. 
that would speak to a certain strength of spirit, emotion, psychology, spirit. These things are attractive, I think. I don't know. I haven't been feeling terribly attractive for a while. And that's all I wrote.